Hi, and welcome to part 18 of my Python programming for beginners tutorial series. In this video, we'll be looking at try and accept statements, which is the fashion of error handling in Python. So let's get started. And we're actually going to make a pretty cool example today. We're going to make the guessing game of guessing a number uh, from 1 to 10. So we're going to be using uh, two modules, which we've seen how to import modules in the last video. Uh, so if you've missed that, make sure to check out uh, tutorial 17. Uh, and that covers that import mo uh, the import section. Um, and then the other parts we'll be using are just the general if statements. You could use a loop in this too, uh, but we're just going to make it a simple one run, uh, one and done type of uh, solution. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first two modules we're going to want to import is going to be the random module and the math module. Now, both of these modules uh, should come automatically with Python, I believe. Um, if you install Visual Studio Code and you install the Python extension, they definitely are included because I have not installed any additional modules other than Pygame on this computer. So uh, you should be good there. So what we're going to want to first do is let's set up our answer. So we're going to do answer equals math dot floor. And we're going to do an open and close bracket. And then we're going to do random dot random open and close bracket. Now, what this random dot random open and close bracket does, it actually generates a random number from zero to one. So what we want to do is we want a number from ten uh, from one to ten. So we're going to do times ten plus one. So this is going to do zero to one times ten. So we have again zero uh, to ten, and but we're going to do the plus one. And what this is going to do. And we're taking the floor of this. So because um, the random dot random never really generates a number one, it always either zero to one. So it's you're going to have like 0 0.7, uh, which times 10, we have seven, and then plus one, uh, we have eight, and then it might be like an 8.2 or something. And then we're going to take the floor of that. So we're going to actually run this code a few times just so you guys can see how this uh, random function works, uh, just to make sure you guys can actually understand that portion. Um, just because I think that I might have made it a little bit more confusing by explaining it. So let's just do a print answer here and let's take a look to see how this runs. Um, so here we have it here. Um, let's give me two seconds. All right, so you guys should see that better. So let's just run it a few times here. So we get seven, two, six, one, four, seven, nine, nine, three, four, seven. So we're just getting random numbers from one to 10 here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to implement our game logic. So what we're going to first do is we're going to get the guess from the user. And we've seen how to get um, the user input. So we're just going to do guess equals input. And then we're going to put in our prompt. And we're just going to do enter a number from 1 to 10. And then we're just going to put a colon and then a space here just for it to look nice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple if statement here. So we're going to do if, and then we know from uh, the video with user input that we actually need to convert the guess to an integer in order to be able to uh, compare it to the answer because our input always comes in as a string. And we're going to do double equal sign answer, and then we're going to do a colon. So if the guess is equal to the answer, we are going to print you are correct. And then what we're going to do else, print, and we're going to do an F string here. So we're going to do the letter, uh, the letter F and then two single quotes. And then we're going to say um, incorrect 
the answer is, and then we're going to do curly brackets. And we're going to put answer in here. And what this does, this will create a string and will actually put in the variable directly into the string. It'll take the variable answer and just insert that there. Uh, so that should work here. So let's see how this works. Let me just make sure you guys can see it on the screen here. All right, so we have enter a number from one to 10. So let's just put in four and we get incorrect. The answer is six. Let's run it again. We're just gonna put five and we get you are correct. I'm actually surprised I got this right. I did not get one right in uh, trying out this program earlier. So uh, we actually have both um, runs here. So let's actually just close, uh, let's run it one last time. And now let's put in high here. So here we get like this ugly error. So we actually see that we get like a trace back and a bunch of error. You don't really need to know what this means, but we know that it actually errors out. So let's go ahead and let's fix that with the Python error handling. So what we're gonna wanna do is before our if statement is we're gonna add a try and then a colon. We're just gonna highlight all this code here. We're just gonna tab it in. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have an accept statement here with a colon. And then we're gonna do print. Then we're gonna do please enter a number. Please enter a valid number. All right, so this should be all good. So let's run this now. And now we get our thing. And then if we put in high, we get please enter a valid number. Then if we just press play again and we do seven, incorrect, the answer is two. So now if ever a user uh, puts in something into this input that can't be converted to a number, we're actually gonna gently handle that error and print out something that is very friendly to the user to let them know that they've put in something wrong and that they should put in something correct. Now, like I said, you could put this in a loop uh, from the looping videos. I just wanted this to be a somewhat simple example of using the try except in a very real um, scenario of a guessing game. So that was the error handling in Python was the try and accept. Now there are more complex ways that you can catch like specific errors like divide by zero um, or like a, a null error or any types of errors, uh, conversion errors or anything like that with the accept statement. We're not gonna get into this. We are just doing the basics here to really get you started and to be able to write some scripts in Python. Uh, maybe I'll do a more advanced uh, tutorial which will cover a little bit more in-depth try and accept statements. Uh, but really we're just building the basics to be able to build out something cool in Python. So make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. The next video, we're actually gonna be looking at classes and objects in Python. Uh, so that's gonna be really, really fun. That's how we get to build a lot of cool um, applications later on. Um, and we can use that knowledge with Pygame. Uh, I might be doing a tutorial series on that. I'm not 100% positive. There's a lot of tutorials already out there. I mean, there's a lot out there for Python too. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Pygame or maybe a different module like pandas or something. But let me know in the comments what you would like to see, and I will try my best to get that going for you guys. In the meantime, hit that notification bell, like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.